Our American Dream. Hello, my name is Abigail and I'm from Costa Rica. Hello, my name is Julaili and I'm from Guatemala. And, and we, we are immigrants. immigrants. We want everyone to know the real situations that are happening in our countries. And which one is the real American dream? A thousand of situations are happening in our countries. Some of them are economic situations, threats that the family receives from the government or either kidnappers. Or the drug cartel. These situations are really bad. They ask for money. No one has freedom of speech. They treat the women as a garbage, and some children are abused. Soldiers taking advantage of their power. We are living a lot of bad situations in our countries. Coming to the United States is the best choice for most of us. Even we have to leave our family, all the things that we love. We make the decision to have the best life and make every dream come true. We immigrants pass through hard moments. Many people decide to come to the United States without visa. But why they come like that? The visa, sadly, is given to the people that have properties or money. And many of us are really poor. These people are the ones who pass through long walks, hunger, and these immigrants die from the long walks in the desert. We are just trying to change our lives. We are just looking for the best. Immigrants are put in containers where they suffer a lot of panic and desperation of what's going to happen. These containers are manipulated by the coyotes. But what are the coyotes? They are the people that live around the borders in Mexico. And they charge a lot of money to cross the immigrants illegally to the United States. Some of the coyotes rape the women, men, and children. And sometimes they take the young ladies as sexually trafficked. In these containers, people die from hunger. Others suffocate. Immigrants fight with officers and go to jail. And they don't know if they will be able to make it because these processes take a lot of time. Everyone's parents want the best for their children. In this case, the parents take one of the two options. First option is to send the kids alone because they don't have enough money to come with them. So they send them with a stranger. And number two is to come with their kids. But in certain time, they live and the kids are alone in this country. Kids live in this country without their parents, without someone to support them. They lose their first love, the most important love since they're like pretty little and the uncontrollable anger dominates over them the best situations don't end by arriving to the united states we suffer a lot of discrimination the racism on the streets stores and everywhere we hear comments that hurt us Americans don't understand these situations and they stereotype us as immigrants. We often get unfair pain from the jobs we perform. There are two reasons why many immigrant teenagers don't get an education. First, because they don't normally pass more than the sixth grade in their countries. So when they come here, they don't really want to study. As far as colleges is concerned, it is difficult to us, almost impossible to get in colleges due to lack of documentation. We immigrants see teenagers that are illegal in this country and they just don't take any opportunity to study 
or even worse, the immigrant's kids, knowing the sacrifice of their parents, they just don't appreciate and they waste their time. No opportunity at all. We have struggles inside of us and people judge us without knowing the situations. Even our life give us thousands of moments to give up. God give us a thousand of moments to keep fighting for better opportunities. So which one is the real American dream? The real American dream is not just to come and make a lot of money or buy expensive things. That's not the American dream. The American dream is to come to a country where you can feel safe, where you can feel comfortable, when you can live the life that you deserve. That's the real American dream. Yo vine con un sueño americano. Yo también vine con un sueño americano. And if you're legal in this country, just take all the opportunities that you have because some of us, we really want to be in your position. And for you immigrant that don't have the right documents, I just want to tell you to keep fighting for your future. In all your dreams, try to make them come true. This podcast has been produced by Abigail Arrieta and Julie Perez. The music was imported by Anchor App and the photo of the producers is original. Thank you for listening.